Good morning. Today is May 5th, 2020, or Cinco de Mayo, and this is The Morning Breach with Scott Davis. COVID-19 stole physical graduation ceremonies from the class of 2020. Now cyber criminals and pranksters are stealing the digital replacements. Florida Gulf Coast University, FGCU, described their decision as this year's graduating class will make history when virtual commencements take place this weekend. As the ceremony was about to begin at 10 a.m., roughly at 9.55, the vendor storage clip experienced a cyber attack taking the service offline and distorting the graduate list. This is an important lesson to understand as schools from high schools to colleges uh, and more are beginning to plan alternate alternate graduation programs. <coughs> Excuse me. Also, the world's largest domain register GoDaddy has disclosed a data breach impacting web hosting account credentials. The breach appears to have occurred back in October on October 19th of 2019 and it was determined that an unauthorized individual had gained access to login credentials that meant they could connect, connect to SSH on affected hosting accounts. SSH, or Secure Shell, is a tool used typically by system administrators to access remote computers. This breach underlines just how important SSH security is and why basic credential authentication should always be disabled for SSH access. GoDaddy has stated that all impacted hosting account logins have been reset, and GoDaddy is recommending auditing your hosting accounts out of an abundance of caution. I expect we will learn more about the GoDaddy breach over the next coming weeks as more information comes out. <coughs> the education technology firm EdTech, which was acquired in 2019 by Thinkful, is reporting that hackers have stolen 700 current and former employee records, including social security numbers. This is EdTech's third reported data breach since 2018. There's obviously something that has to be done at EdTech to secure this. A misconfigured cloud database has leaked records of tens of millions of users of adult streaming site CAM4. The unsecured Elasticsearch database contained over 7 terabytes of personal data and production logs. With a total of 11 billion records leaked, including 11 million records containing email addresses and 26.3 million containing password hashes, first and last names country of origin, sexual orientation, username, inter-user chat conversations, email transcripts, IP addresses, credit card types, and payment amounts were all breached through the CAM4 database. The French newspaper Le Figaro leaked 7.4 billion records or roughly 8 terabytes of data through a misconfigured database as well. Exposed PII of at least 42,000 users included names, email accounts, home addresses, countries of residence, postcodes, IP addresses, server access tokens, and passwords for new users in clear text and hashed with an unreliable algorithm. The Bank of Costa Rica has been breached by the Maze Ransomware Group. The group claims to have more than 10 million bank records. But a representative of the Bank of Costa Rica states the alleged hacking never happened and all client accounts are secure. The bank, the bank worked in conjunction with firms and specialists in network penetration testing who determined that the bank is being the victim of an extortion attempt. Now, if you've paid attention to any of my conversations of ransomware or the Maze Ransomware Group, this would be true as the Maze Ransomware Group is known to collect money either by ransomware itself or by posting the breach data online until a payment is made, which is extortion. 
So it's kind of interesting. They're, the bank statement kind of confirms, kind of denies. So it's going to be interesting to see how that one plays out. Mandiant Solutions, the threat intelligence arm of FireEye, released a report based on real attacks that 53% of attacks successfully infiltrated environments without detection. Ugh, got something in my eye. Excuse me. 26% of attacks successfully infiltrated environments but were detected, while 33% of attacks were prevented by security tools. Alerts were only generated for 9% of the attacks, demonstrating that most organizations and their security teams do not have the visibility they need into serious threats. The most common reasons are poor optimization uh, in deployment under the default out-of-the-box configurations and lack of resources. So of all of this, you know, every day I come to you in the morning and I have new breaches to report. Breaches are happening. Cybersecurity is a critical concern. And as your organization, as your business, you know, prepares to, you know, get back into the office, or if you're already in the office, you really need to increase, you know, your thought process on what your cybersecurity team is and what they can do. You know, just looking at the base numbers that, you know, more than half of organizations don't have the, the components in place to even determine if a breach occurred or if an attack occurred, it's a serious concern. I mean, that's more than 50% of the organizations out there. So, you know, ultimately my recommendation, you know, is as always, you know, talk to your IT team, find out what they are doing to protect you and protecting themselves. Talk to a third party and run a penetration test. Talk to, you know, get that outside eye looking in to validate what you're being told. Um, and if you have any questions on how to obtain any of this or how to go through the process, please reach out to me, scott at techwisegroup.com. I'd be more than happy to help you. At the end of the day, I just want your organization to be, be secure. Um, as you know, we need to do more as an IT community to lower these percentages and protect more organizations and get ahead of you know, this game of chess with these hackers and fishers and scammers that are out there. So have a great Cinco de Mayo. Enjoy your Tuesday. And I will see everybody back on Wednesday. Take care.